here, baby. Brand new KS series 118. We're gonna do an unboxing and we're gonna see what this puppy has to offer. So let's get into it. I have no idea which way I should be opening this, but I'm just gonna go for it. So, to my knowledge, this bad boy has 3600 watts peak. They have yet to come out with the RMS stats. So, uh, we don't know what this thing runs at, you know, all the time. I'm assuming it's going to be um, 1300. Just half of, oh no, no. Not 13. Um, is that 1800? 1800 watts RMS, half of 36. Oh boy. Okay, so right at the top here, we got the uh, quick start guide. No one needs that. Um, QSC always does a really good job of packing their, their uh, equipment. Because um, on the outside of the box, there were some noticeable gouges and dents. and So we'll see how that translates to the uh, inside of it. So, I'm actually a genius. I opened it right onto the uh, casters here, so it might just roll out. God, I'm so good at this. Wow. Move this out of the way. Also in the box is just like three inches to, you know, almost an inch of cardboard on the bottom and the top. So that's good. All right, that's everything out of the box. Now my cats can go play with it. Wow, okay. So, right here, we have the KS. 18. Uh, this thing is pretty honking. Ugh. My cat and the box. Alright. I hope this is in frame. But, um, yeah, right out of the box, there's no assembly required. Let me show you guys here. Right out of the box here. No assembly required. They come with the casters pre-fitted. Um, on the back here, just your standard, you know, like K.2. If you own any of them, it's the same back. Basically, you turn it on, you have the uh, all your features in here and your two inputs. Um, locking IC, we see that a lot with the QSCs. That right there. Seems like a pretty decently long cable, which is nice. Um, so yeah, we're probably gonna plug it in and see what the menu's got to offer. But so far, it's looking pretty fly. It's got these little indentations here so you can stack them on top of so each we're other. Gonna go ahead and plug it in here. Just plug this bad boy right into the wall. Oh my God, I fell. Right in the wall, then you take your locking IC. Ba bam Locks in. That's tight. 
then we're going to flip her on here. Come around back. Cool little blue LED in there. I like that. All right, see if I can get it to focus here. So we have the cutoff here, the crossover. So uh, 80 hertz um, or 100 hertz is what it has here. So depending on what you have as your tops. Um, then we have the delay, just in case you have more than one subwoofer. Um, one closer to the stage, one further away from the stage, you can match those up so this sound works out perfectly. We have the deep mode um, that boosts your low end a little bit more. Um, I have not heard this yet on a subwoofer, so I will tell you guys how that sounds in the next video for sure. Let's see what, on, off, okay. Cardioid, you need more than one unit to test that out. I do not have more than one unit, hoping to get one here soon. But for now, we are just testing this one. Settings, um, you can set your scenes, the front LEDs, um, you can turn them off and on. Cool. Go back. Contrast, uh, if you like. Depends how you like the screen, darker or lighter. It's whatever to me. Then you have your factory reset. And that's basically it. I mean, it's it's pretty self-explanatory on the back. Um, standard gain knob, um, nothing fancy there either. I mean, what more can you ask for on the back of a subwoofer? This is pretty nice, pretty top of the line. Um, so. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Let's start right down here. As we can see, we have the front badge, pretty standard on every single QSC that you buy. Um, you got your front LED, you can turn that off and on. Um, and that is right in front of the grill here. This grill is all metal, of course, and it's got the little mesh behind it. So it looks sleek and it looks awesome. Coming up top here, we have the six year warranty badge. Shows us that yes, we did buy a KS 118 and it's 3,600 watts peak, I might add. Um, you know, we got our casters, deep mode, and it's an 18 inch class D amplifier. Awesome. Moving up here, we got our thread hole. I'm not quite sure what size this is. I'm sure you can look it up in the specs of any, you know, like Sweetwater or IDG now. I'm sure they'll tell you what that thread hole is, but it's got that on top on top not on the side when you lay it down you do not have a thread hole um moving on to the back here we have our low noise casters as you can see they're a little bit harder to move that's because they're not going to rattle when you got this thing turned up all the way um then we have these rubber pieces now if i'm being honest I'm not quite sure why they're on here besides the fact that when you take the casters off, if you so choose that it might not break the panel when you lay it down, but actually what I figured out from taking it out on one gig is that those rubber pieces are actually there. So when you go over a big curb or a large drop off, that the curb doesn't scratch the bottom of the subwoofer. So those rubber pieces there are to protect from curbs and other things that might get up under there and scratch the bottom of the subwoofer when you're wheeling it around. So yeah, back to your regular scheduled entertainment. Obviously you have the locking IEC here, so it's not like you're gonna be using it laying down that way. So. Maybe that's something someone could share with me in the comments as to why this is here. I'd love to know. Um, as we can see, we have our plywood and our um, Duraflex finish. It's very nice, very solid build, rounded corners. You know, it's not chipping, it looks pretty slick. Well, to be quite honest with you here, I was gonna sit here and tell you that IDJ Now is the best, you know, place to buy the KS118 right now because of the package it offers. 
with two XLRs, cable ties, and the soft cover all in one package for $1,500. But I just picked up this package and there's no way that the soft cover's in here. So I checked my emails and the original email says, I purchased the KS181 with the soft with the soft cover package. And then I checked the next email and it says shipped to you was KS118, XLRs, and the cable ties, no sign of the soft cover. So I'm gonna have to email IDJ now, see what's up with that. Um, but for now, here's some little goodies that they sent with you. Um, just a DJ pro tip right here. If you're buying an expensive piece of gear, like a new subwoofer or some new tops, make sure you buy a package. Don't just buy the product. You can always get free XLRs, free speaker stands, and um, just random things here and there that will actually you know, benefit your company a whole lot. Um, so cable ties, um, good for organization. Then it also came with some 20 foot XLR. Very nice, I like the color. Another one. And then, well, here's the receipt right here. It says, let's see. Yep. Items KS118, KS118 cover. Don't have that. 20 foot blue XLR. Have that. Cable ties. Have that. So. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this because I don't have a soft cover. And then they send you a little catalog of everything they have so you can spend more money. So yeah, um, make sure you buy packages with your gear because you can always get free stuff and I highly recommend that. But um, IDJ now, come on man, where you at? Where's my soft cover? I got a gig tonight. I'm gonna film this puppy in action. I don't have my soft cover to protect it. But overall, the um, the build quality is solid, right? Like I'm sitting on it, I weigh 100 and, you know, or 210 pounds. Um, grill feels nice and solid. No complaints, really. I mean, it is a solid built cabinet. Um, in my next video that I'm posting here is gonna be the review on the actual sound, loudness, and it in its natural habitat, which I have a gig tonight, so we're gonna test it out. Um, so stay tuned for that, it'll probably be up in the next day or two. Um, but yeah, that was the unboxing. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and I'll see you in a couple days.